Good afternoon and welcome to the 12th annual Michigan Rehabilitation Services Champion Awards Ceremony. And for the first time in 2020, we have gone virtual. My name is Carol Burquist and I'm currently the chair of the Michigan Council for Rehabilitation Services. Our council works with Michigan Rehabilitation Services to host this amazing ceremony for most of the last 12 years. Our council is a consumer driven, governor appointed, statewide membership who works in partnership with Michigan's two vocational rehabilitation agencies, Michigan Rehabilitation Services and the Bureau of Services for Blind Persons. Together, we work to ensure quality VR services for the citizens of Michigan. Each of you in the audience had received a program earlier today describing the event. It shows the categories of all the different champions, and there are 11, and it tells about our 2020 winners. Following today's ceremony, each of you will receive an email that will provide you with some additional information and also how to order a recording of today's event if you wish to do so. Today we are here to honor MRS champions from across the state of Michigan, from one border in Marquette to another border in Adrian, from Saginaw and Lansing, from the Thumb <laughs> and all parts of the Mitten, we are here to celebrate. We will begin today's ceremony by hearing from several of Michigan leaders and offering their congratulations to today's winners. Our first presenter, presenter is Governor Gretchen Whitmore. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining the 2020 Champion Awards presented by the Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Michigan Rehabilitation Services focuses on using vocational rehabilitation to develop creative and customized solutions that meet the needs of individuals and businesses. Today's award ceremony highlights those who have assisted in that work, or as they'll be referred to today, the champions of that work. Congratulations to the 2020 Champion Award recipients. I sincerely thank you for your work and tireless efforts to move our culture toward one of full inclusion and equality. Please enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you, Governor Whitmer. Our second presenter is Stephanie Beckhorn. Stephanie has worked with um, workforce development programs in a variety of settings, but today she is in the Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity and is the director of the Office of Employment and Training. In this role, she provides leadership and guidance to the Bureau of Services for Blind Persons, Michigan Rehabilitation Services and Workforce Development. Thank you, Carol. Uh, as Carol said, I am Stephanie Beckhorn, Director of the Office of Employment and Training within the Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity. And um, I wanted to just highlight as part of employment um, and training, it does include Michigan Rehabilitation Services, the Bureau of Services for Blind Persons and Workforce, to get, workforce Development. Together, we work closely to close opportunity gaps and assist people, businesses, and communities in reaching their full potential. We promote a flexible, innovative, and effective workforce system by developing customized workforce solutions for businesses and individuals, including those with disabilities. I am honored that this is my second opportunity to participate in this event and celebrate the individuals businesses and community partners 
who have made a commitment to Michigan's public vocational rehabilitation programs. Although this year's celebration may look different, it does not diminish the incredible achievements of our honorees today. MRS believes firmly in assisting individuals with disabilities in becoming employed in a career and retaining employment and career advancement based on their current or potential skills and abilities in demand-driven occupations. Their work ensures all Michiganders have exceptional opportunities to have a great job, earn a livable wage, and contribute to our state. Today's award recipients are shining examples of the external partners who contribute to that work, as well as the individuals who benefit directly from these efforts. The successes you'll hear about today are just some of the thousands of stories that could be told about Michigan's vocational rehabilitation programs and their outcomes. I congratulate all of you on your work and the recognition you are about to receive. Today's ceremony is certainly a bright spot on a somewhat cloudy year. I am glad we could gather together virtually to recognize its significance. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Our next presenter is Julie Kelly, who represents the uh, represent state. Rep I'm sorry, <laughs> Michigan State Representative Julie Kelly, who represents Barry County and Lenawee County. Hello, and welcome to the 2020 MRS Champion Awards. This is a fabulous opportunity to celebrate vocational rehabilitation and the people who make it a success. Let's start with the stars of the show, our differently abled Michiganders. These brave men and women stepped out of their comfort zones to reach for skill acquisition and the opportunity to share their talents with the workforce. None of us truly knows our own potential, but we do understand the strength it takes to put one foot in front of the other and journey out into unknown territory. Our champions have unique skill sets that many of us don't possess. Whether it's an ability to focus on minute details for an elongated period of time, or an analytical brain that just doesn't get distracted by overly social opportunities at work. The truth is, Hiring these individuals just makes good business sense. And typically, the most important accommodation is good old fashioned understanding. To our employers, thank you for opening up your workforce to those who are differently abled. I'm confident that you've found it to be rewarding for a number of reasons. And I'm sure that your employees have taught you just as much as you have taught them. Thank you for changing the lives of your entire workforce through inclusion. I'm confident that all of your employees have benefited. Access to education is one of the biggest barriers to empowering additional differently abled employees right here in Michigan. I'm grateful that the Michigan Career and Technical Institute has a multifaceted approach, offering young people a variety of professions to pursue including high demand fields. Your training is crucial to the future of your students and their employers. Thank you as well to our customers and community partners. You are essential to making this employment strategy not only a success, but a way of life. Once again, Thank you for your support of Michigan workers who deserve the opportunity to share their skills and abilities with our great state and the global economy. I applaud all of you in doing your part to make Michigan a more inclusive place to live, work, and play. Thank you, Julie. And I, I think I forgot to mention Ionia County in my introduction. Our next presenter is Debbie Stabenow, straight from Washington, D.C. Thank you. 
That was the Rep Cali video. You might need to restart the share with the stabbing out feed. I think Debbie's having trouble reaching us today. Hi, I'm so glad to join you today as we mark National Disability Employment Awareness Month. A hundred years of vocational rehabilitation programs and the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Now that's a lot to celebrate. And thanks to all the organizations and agencies that are sponsoring this event and the important work you do every day on behalf of Michigan residents. Over the past 100 years, we've seen huge changes in access to transportation, education, public buildings, employment, and quality of life for millions of Americans with disabilities. We all know that people still face discrimination and issues with access though. But vocational rehabilitation is providing people with the tools and the skills they need to succeed. And the ADA set a standard. It says that under the law, people with disabilities must be treated the same as everyone else, period. These standards for access and inclusion really benefit all of us, right? Our nation is facing a host of challenges from the pandemic to the economy to the need for equal justice to the climate crisis. These issues can't be solved by just some of us. Our success depends on all of us. As we mark these important anniversaries, I'm grateful for the doors that have been opened and the dreams that have been achieved. And I'm committed to continuing to work with you to open more doors and help more dreams come true. Enjoy today's event. Thank you, Senator Sabanow. Our final Michigan leader speaker for today is Susan Corbin who after serving in many state departments across Michigan, was recently named the Acting Director of Labor and Economic Opportunity. Thank you, Carol. Um, as you mentioned, I'm Susan Corbin. I'm the new Acting Director of the Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity. I'm pleased to join this year's Champion Awards hosted by our very own Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Vocational rehabilitation is a critical component of the work the Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity does to support the people of Michigan. Much of that importance will be showcased today as we honor the people, businesses, and partners who are making significant contributions to supporting individuals with disabilities or have received life-changing services and resources to reach their goals. As Senator Stabenow mentioned in her message, we have so much to celebrate this month as we honor National Disability Employment Awareness Month, Investing in Abilities Month, the 100th anniversary of federally funded vocational, vocational rehabilitation, and the 30th anniversary of the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act, these milestones remind us of how important it is that Michigan's economic opportunity and strength are built upon the skills and talents of every citizen in our state. And that together, we can work to ensure equity and access for all Michiganders. They also highlight the fact that a growing number of Michigan employers recognize the abilities of people with disabilities and know that employing these workers makes good business sense. These celebratory moments and today's award ceremony give us a moment to pause and celebrate the abilities and contributions of people with disabilities 
whose employment is enriching our business community, our culture, and our future. I too congratulate all of today's recipients and appreciate the opportunity to be with you during this celebration. Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan. We will now move into the part of the ceremony that you've all been waiting for, and that is the actual honoring of today's 2020 Champion Award recipients. There are 11 different categories, and the format will follow um, the same format. I will introduce each category, and then the people that actually made the nomination of the recipient will talk about why, why they chose this person from all the people that they could have chosen. And then that recipient will respond by accepting the award. It's an awesome ceremony. Accommodations, Rehabilitation Services, the Lansing District Office. Representing Dean Transportation today is Juliet Mandrilla. Anna Warbach and Shelley Neal will describe their nomination. Good afternoon. I'm Shelley Neal, the District Manager for the Lansing District Office. I have the pleasure of telling you about the Champion Award winner for the Large Business Employer of the Year. They work hand in hand with local offices like LDO, as well as with the Business Network Division. They may hire new recruits from our excellent talent pool, work to obtain reasonable accommodations for their employees, or request retention services to maintain those good employees. There were at least 26 referrals this past year. This is a company that really genuinely cares about their employees. On their website, you will find the following sentences describing their business. The real connection begins with the human connection. It embodies our core values of trust, performance, advocacy, and stewardship. In a sentence, it's all about people helping people and companies in this country. This company was initially started to help transport students with polio to school. Just like MRS, they were started to work with people with disabilities. It is my pleasure to announce that Dean Transportation is the 2020 Large Business Employer of the Year. May I introduce Juliette Mandrella. Thank you so much, Shelley. My name is Juliette Mandrella. I'm the Benefits and Leave Specialist at Dean Transportation. I wanna start by giving a big thank you to Michigan Rehabilitation Services and the Michigan Council for Rehabilitation Services for selecting Dean Transportation for the Champion Award. And thank you to Anna Warbeck and Shelly Neal for the nomination. I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of Dean Transportation. Thank you to Kelly Dean, our fearless leader, whose dedication to his employees and passion for the work we do is unmatched. I'm very proud to be a member of the Dean team. I also wanna give a special thank you to our talented HR department for their support and hard work, especially Laquita Clayton, our HR coordinator, who plays a very important role in identifying employees who may require referral to MRS. We're doing very special work here at Dean Transportation, transporting children. We believe we are not just giving people a job, but rather are connecting people with a purpose. We are so grateful for our partnership with Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Your continued support in helping our employees achieve quality employment outcomes has been outstanding. We thank you for helping us to provide the opportunity to connect our employees to their purpose here at Dean and hope to continue our work with you for many years to come. Thank you for this award and thank you for all that you do. Our next award is also for Business Partner Large Business 2020 Championship Award. The recipient is Michigan Dining, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, in partnership with the Michigan Rehabilitation Services, the Ann Arbor District Office. Michigan Dining is represented today by Joe Kulig, nominated by Lisa Bartley and Megan Parkin. 
Good afternoon. I'm Lisa Bartley, the Business Relations Consultant for Ann Arbor and the surrounding communities. I'm honored today to introduce the recipient of the Large Business Partner Champion Award, Joe Cooling from the University of Michigan Dining. Michigan Dining is one of the nation's largest campus dining operations. Its nine dining halls, catering services, and more than two dozen markets and cafes located across the Ann Arbor campus provide nutritious, delicious food and create memorable social experiences. In the summer of 2019, I first met Joe through an internship program with MRS. Fast forward to fall and Joe reached out to me to discuss how MRS customers could help him meet his hiring needs. Joe is responsible for hiring host positions in the dining halls and was looking for employees who could help provide a friendly greeting when checking students in as well as commit to keeping the tables clean. I realized early on that Joe was patient with people, diligent with details, and committed to diversity and inclusion. He created a very transparent hiring process and welcomed counselors and even job coaches to observe interviews. Joe invested his time in this hiring program. Nearly every week during the fall semester, we would meet along with the Ann Arbor District Counselor and Business Representative Megan Parkin to coordinate interviews, discuss necessary accommodations, and plan next steps. We were impressed that Joe demonstrated flexibility in carving the job into two separate positions when necessary to fit the individual's skill set or to accommodate for a disability. As I mentioned, Joe needed to hire many part time host positions. And fortunately, the Ann Arbor District Counselors responded very enthusiastically, and nearly every qualified candidate was hired. Amherst customers were proud to work at the University of Michigan, wear their maize in blue, and earn a starting wage of $13.75. After 20 MRS customers were hired, our partnership did not end, but expanded. Joe stayed mindful of how both individuals with disabilities and their coworkers experienced the workplace and invited Megan Parkin and I to facilitate a training for his entire dining staff early this year. We were able to address disability awareness, etiquette, and microaggressions. Several MRS customers were part of these large group trainings and other employees were introduced to MRS. Most importantly, M Dining employees were able to see how the core value of inclusion was demonstrated through this unique hiring process that Joe initiated. Although Joe has now moved to a new position in HR at the university, his legacy lives on through this enduring partnership with Michigan Rehabilitation Services. I am so pleased to introduce Joe Cooling to accept this award. Good afternoon, my name is Joe Cooling and I'm honored to accept this MRS Champion Award for partnership with Lisa Bartley and Megan Parkin. Uh, the folks that came through the program to work with us fit into a few different categories. Um, highly enthusiastic, determined to learn, or uh, extremely prepared, or, or some combination of those things. Um, I can remember one of our first few applicants that came through was so excited to work with the University of Michigan. Um, he was talking with his counselor about, you know, is it okay if I wear my Michigan sweatshirt? Um, and, you know, of course, ace the interview, uh, telling our, our uh, myself and our other interviewer uh, about his family's passion for the Wolverines growing up. Um, and, and in this, we realized we had roles that were a fit for both folks who either were really socially comfortable or folks that really wanted to work on those skills or folks that kind of did a little bit better working in their own lane for a while. And um, through the partnership, I think we learned more about how do we create really awesome spaces for, uh, for everyone. So um, knowing that we couldn't just drop these folks into a workplace and expect magic to happen overnight. MRS also supported us with uh, this awesome training series, as Lisa mentioned, where uh, all of our dining staff got some support in, in how to support their new teammates. Um, and that was so valuable for us. Uh, while I'm no longer in Michigan dining today, I, I do speak on behalf of uh, the leadership and management teams that not only invested their time uh, and their resources, but also practiced such incredible flexibility and uh, emotional intelligence while they brought on new team members with different accommodation needs and managing the, the typical needs that are present in uh, college dining in a, a busy fall and winter semester. Um, 
to name names, Gina Mauck, Steve Mangan, Keith Soster, Steve Giardini, Matt Zatirka, Mike Dorer, Kelly Gettler, Vicente Hernandez, and Lois Allen were crucial organizational supporters that, that really do need to be named. And uh, our student team was also extremely helpful in, in making this happen. Um, dining is, uh, Michigan Dining is a one-of-a-kind food organization that continues to challenge itself to be more inclusive and uh, more equitable. And the support of this program was just a, a, a huge example of putting those espoused values to work uh, in a way that both met a business need that we had to, to um, support our students better and our guests better, uh, but also a need that was present in our community. And for that, uh, we're extremely grateful for the partnership with Lisa and with Michigan Rehabilitation Services uh, to help these individuals get a chance to show up and contribute to something great. Uh, I so sincerely hope that I'm able to work with MRS on a similar partnership in the future um, or even be able to just recommend their services to um, others in our community. I was truly blown away at the support and assistance that we received uh, while we were welcoming these new folks into our community. And um, my heart is so full today and thank you so much. Our next business partner award is for Small Business 2020 Champion. The recipient is Ozzy's Quick Lube of St. Charles, Michigan, in partnership with the Michigan Rehabilitation Services Saginaw District offices. Ozzy's Quick Lube is represented by Justin Oswald. Laura Gornicke was the nominator. Hello, I am Laura Gornicke and I am contract staff blended between the Saginaw ISD and Michigan Rehabilitation Services and I serve transition students. I want to thank MRS for um, giving this award to Justin Oswald of Ozzy's Quick Loop. There has been a longstanding 10-year relationship between um, Ozzy's and MRS and the Sagan ISD, and he's a very deserving recipient of this award. Um, Ozzy's is just a tiny business in rural St. Charles, Michigan, and Justin can just employ a few employees, four or five at a time, but when he is looking for talent, he um, reaches out, picks up the phone, and checks in with us first, which is um, just really cool. Also neat is the fact that you can drive into Ozzy's um, at any given time, and many times you will pull in, and the two or three employees that are working there, working there are current or past MRS customers. Um, so get your oil changed at Ozzy's. Um, and he doesn't just employ uh, the people we serve. He works with schools and with MRS to help provide um, job shadows and pre ed work-based learning experiences. Um, he works with the high schools to provide co-op credit, and he also tells other businesses about the great work that we do and the talent we have. Um, he is an understanding boss, and he has high expectations. His employers, his employees rise to meet those expectations, and he often promotes people to management position and raises their pay and responsibility. And one of the coolest things about Justin is even though he hates to let a valued employee go, he always encourages people to seek further training if they desire it. He is a fantastic mentor, and I'm so honored to introduce our valued partner, Justin Oswald of Ozzy's Quick Loop. I want to thank you for uh, giving me this award, and uh, we appreciate it very much. Over the years, we've got to mentor a lot of kids and give them a chance at their first job and, and be a part of their lives and, and help them become better people. And uh, I just want to say again, thank you and appreciate it and looking forward to many more years. Our second business partner, Small Business 2020 Champion Award, and goes to Lumbermans of Grand Rapids, Michigan, in partnership with the Michigan Rehabilitation Services Business Network Division and Michigan Career and Technical Institute. Lumbermans is represented by Laura Longstreet, and Charlene Organ will describe her nomination. Hi, I'm Charlene with Michigan Rehabilitation Services and the Business Network Division. And on behalf of Michigan Rehab Services and the Business Network Division and the Grand Rapids District Office, 
and our school, Michigan Career Technical Institute. I want to say thank you so much for Lumbermans for being a great business to our division and to the field. They are a wonderful business. They have a variety of positions and great benefit packages for our customers. They've assisted us with tours at MCTI, as well as hosted tours for people interested in getting into the field and, and their trade. So it's really exciting um, to have them be nominated. And they are wonderful support um, pre-COVID and during COVID. They are going to be um, on our MRS networking virtual event this month. And it's so exciting for us that um, they won this champion award. So I'd like to turn it over to Laura. Thank you so much, Laura. Hi there, my name is Laura Longstreet. I am speaking on behalf of Lumbermans today, and we would just like to thank uh, Michigan Rehabilitation Services for the opportunity to be considered uh, for this award. Lumbermans has been part of the Grand Rapids community for over 65 years, and we love opportunities to get involved and help our community uh, in whatever capacity that we can. And the partnership has allowed us to learn more about um, Michigan Career and Technical Institute and also about the needs of the community and how we might be able to better serve them. So on behalf of our team, thank you very much for the nomination and we look forward to your continued partnership in the years to come. Our first Customer 2020 Champion Award goes to Robert Gurley of Detroit, Michigan in partnership with Michigan Rehabilitation Services, the Hamtramck District Office. James Bates, who nominated Robert for this award, will describe his nomination and Robert will accept the award. So uh, Mr. Gurley um, met him at my referral site, uh, Team Wellness Center. Um, he was determined that he wanted to work. Uh, lack of work experience, but he wanted to work. So I started him off traditionally as I would do any uh, other customer in JSS. Um, and he did JSS um, and job clubs and job seeking skills at, with Disability Network. And he, um, he did it the full term. Um, he showed up daily um, despite his uh, mobility issues that he has. So I really in, um, appreciated his fight for showing up daily with a mobility issue, especially at our office. Uh, with the long bus stop uh, we have. So um, he was determined to get on that bus and made it every day to make the best out of it. Uh, when it was over, um, the the staff tend to be, to, um, to gravitate towards him and, 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 and lo love this passion. Um, so they offered him an internship, which would also help Mr. Gurley before he get into the working world with the lack of work experience. So he was offered an internship at Disability Network uh, we started off part-time answering phones. Uh, they taught them how to use the mail machine and all the things that they would uh, need as a front desk recipient. Um, but then they noticed the days he wasn't there that um, they needed him there. Um, there was a lack of. His presence was missing. So uh, they ended up offering him a full-time job. He took it. He was happy. And I'm happy to say that he was there for the full 90 days and he's still there today. Um, we still talk about the job despite COVID, working from home. He has the equipment, he's at home working, um, and he's still enjoying it today. So I would like to now introduce our champion, uh, Mr. Robert Gurley. Ladies and gentlemen, I want, to, I want to thank you for the award. It means a lot to me. I never won any type of an award before. This will be my first one. I want to thank Mr. Bates for all his help. I also want to thank Lorraine Armstrong for believing in me to get this job I love. What I do at Disability Network, I will continue to do good work there and make you all proud. Our second Customer 2020 Champion Award goes to Austin Ganda 
of North Branch, Michigan, in partnership with the Michigan Rehabilitation Services Lapeer District Office. Steve Peterson nominated Austin for this award, and Austin will accept. Hello, my name is Steve Peterson. I'm a vocational rehabilitation counselor with Michigan Rehabilitation Services in Lapeer, Michigan, part of the Eastern District. It's my pleasure to introduce a young man who is an award winner today for Customer of the Year. His name is Austin Gonda, and he's from North Branch, Michigan. He attended North Branch High School and graduated this past spring, and he graduated into a full-time employment opportunity. I want to talk a little bit about that. This young man overcame a number of challenges in high school. He happened to have a learning disability, and traditional schooling was a little a little bit of a struggle, but at the same time, he's a hands-on learner and a very bright young man in regards to uh, his work skills. And we worked with uh, Austin on some opportunities while he was in school, what we call pre-employment training opportunities to kind of work on um, skills that help in the employment arena. And he participated in those uh, programs, took it to heart, took his plan to heart, and uh, participated while in school in something known as a work-based learning opportunity at k &M International, which was a true collaborative effort between Michigan Rehabilitation Services, the employer k &M International, along with very special assistance from Lapeer Intermediate School District, North Branch High School, and a community partner, Lapeer Teamwork. Through this collaboration and the positive work experience that resulted for Austin, he was able to gain part-time employment while he was finishing his high school degree and a diploma, and then was hired and offered full-time employment following his graduation this past spring. Austin was always active in his IEP meetings in school, as well as working with his VR plan and MRS, including his employment interest and development of his work skills, and he took those to heart. Again, Austin worked so hard and turned out to be a good match for him. He was interested in heavy equipment, and the particular employer works with asphalt. Uh, they have heavy equipment. He gained some opportunity to, to learn and see the uh, plant and was offered employment. He, especially during this time of COVID, cleaning is very important. And um, Austin did a great job in terms of managing the plant and keeping it clean and safe for employees there, as well as uh, himself. He's earned an opportunity to branch out from there. He's interested in possibly truck driving, and there's possibly some opportunities to do that going forward. Again, congratulations to Austin Gonda from North Branch High School. Thanks to all the partners and agencies involved, and thanks to Austin himself for his hard work in earning this well-deserved award. Hi, I'm Chad Gonda. Austin Gonda's dad, and I'm here to help Austin out with his acceptance speech. Hi, my name is Austin Gonda. I'm a 19-year-old graduate of North Branch High School. Go Broncos! I feel very blessed to have won a statewide MRS Champion Customer Award. I want to say thanks to Steve Peterson of the Lapeer County MRS for nominating me and to the State of Michigan Rehabilitation Services for giving me this award. I hope that if other kids and young adults who may see this are inspired, that if they work hard and do their best, they can be recognized and showcase their talents. It has been a long haul from the early threes program until now. Graduated and working full-time at CAM International in North Branch. I want to say thanks to many of the people and groups that have helped me out along the way. Starting with Mrs. Filkins, Mrs. Welling, Mrs. Kirk, Mrs. Brandt, Mrs. Lohr, all my para pros, and the rest of the North Branch Special Education team who were so patient with me and gave me the good direction to give the VIP program a shot. I also want to say thanks to Bob O'Dell in the Lapeer County Intermediate School District, along with Teamworks and Steve Peterson of the Lapeer County MRS who helped make this VIP experience available to me. My junior year in the VIP program, I was able to work at the self-serve lumber and the Deerfield Inn. My senior year, I got the opportunity to work for Cliff and Brian at K&M International. 
by working hard and doing the jobs asked of me through this VIP experience, Cliff of KM International offered me a full-time job after I was done with my senior year. I am truly grateful for this opportunity and so far is going really well. I am doing janitorial work, driving high lows, and helping out wherever needed. Thank you much, Cliff and Brian and the rest of my team at k and I hope this shows others that the VIP experience can lead to good things if you work hard and do your best. I also want to thank my parents, grandparents, and family for being so supportive of me and helping me along every step of my journey so far. Finally, I give all thanks to God for blessing me in every way. Thanks again for this award. Good job, Austin. Our first Student 2020 Champion Award goes to Emily Sayer of Battle Creek, Michigan, in partnership with the Michigan Rehabilitation Services and Michigan Career Technical Institute. Heather Laws and San Toda nominated Emily for this award, and Emily will accept. Hello, uh, my name is Sen Toda. I'm a rehabilitation counselor and program manager at Michigan Career and Technical Institute, or MCTI. Uh, I began working with Emily when she started in career assessment services at Michigan Career and Technical Institute, and uh, I had the pleasure of working with her throughout her time in MCTI and saw tremendous growth in her both personally and academically. Uh, she worked hard through math remediation to improve her academic skills to be successful in the pharmacy services trade and worked just as hard while in the trade to, to make sure that she learned the material and, and was successful. I also saw her develop into a leader, acting as the class representative, assisting her fellow students, and speaking at a transition event in her home community. In addition to all of that, Emily also started her job as a pharmacy technician at a health clinic the Monday after MCTI had to close down campus due to COVID-19. <clears throat> She's maintained her employment throughout the pandemic and has demonstrated incredible mental fortitude and resiliency while helping to provide an essential service in these difficult times. I can't say enough about how proud I am of the growth that we've seen and how proud Emily should be of herself and of her accomplishments. She's very deserving of this award. Uh, I'd like to hand it over to Heather Laws, the pharmacy services instructor at MCTI to say a few words. Hi, I'm Heather Laws. I'm a pharmacy technician instructor at Michigan Career and Technical Institute. Emily began her training for the pharmacy services trade at Michigan Career and Technical Institute in the fall of 2019. When I first met Emily, she was a shy, pleasant, and hardworking young lady. She preferred not to talk in front of class and often would avert her eyes from direct eye contact. Over the time that Emily was in class, her confidence grew and she became a Michigan Career and Technical Institute ambassador, where she led tour groups and spoke in front of large crowds, all with poise and authenticity. Emily quickly developed excellent pharmacy technician skills and obtained employment prior to graduation with the Kalamazoo Health Center. Since then, Emily has excelled in her employment as a pharmacy technician and has been recognized by her employer for having excellent attendance at work. I could continue to talk about em Emily's wonderful attributes, but we simply do not have enough time. But Emily represents all that it takes not only to earn the Champion Award, but also be an exemplary representative of the pharmacy technician profession. I'd like to introduce to you now, Emily Sayre. Hello, my name is Emily Sayre. I'm very honored to be receiving this award. I would like to thank Sen and Heather for nominating me and not giving up on me. I wouldn't be where I am today without the both of them. I will forever be grateful for how they have touched my life. I would also like to thank my family and friends for supporting me when I decided to attend MCTI. My biggest supporter was my grandpa. He worked for 37 years at MCTI and leisure services, and it was his dream for me to go to MCTI. Although my grandpa died before I started at MCTI, it was his presence that kept me going and gave me my never give up attitude. I would like to also thank my MRS counselor, Megan Krim. She helped out with my application progress process and encouraged me to get out of my comfort zone and go to MCTI. I currently work full-time as a pharmacy technician at the Family Health Center in Kalamazoo. I've been there since March and I'm very lucky to say that I love my job. 
Lastly, I would like to thank Michigan Rehabilitation Services for presenting me with such a special award and recognizing my hard work and dedication in becoming a pharmacy technician. Thank you everyone again for nominating me and choosing me as a student for this year's Champion Award. Our second Student 2020 Champion Award goes to Joseph Simona, currently of San Antonio, Texas, in partnership with Michigan Rehabilitation Services Oakland District Office. Joseph was nominated by Anita Lord, who will describe the nomination and Joseph will accept. Hello, my name is Anita Lord and I am the District Manager with Michigan Rehabilitation Services in Oakland County. I nominated Joseph Simona for the MRS Student Champion Award. In 1988, I, King Jordan, became the first deaf president at Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C. You may have heard his now famous quote, deaf people can do anything but hear. Joseph truly embodies that spirit. It was Joe's long-standing dream to become a, a dentist. Well, this year he graduated from the University of Michigan's School of Dentistry. This program is rated number one in the country. As Joe would describe it, the curriculum was rigorous. Yet, with his hard work and determination, he succeeded. Joseph excelled in the classroom with his academics and also volunteered his time at the weekend clinics in the city of Ann Arbor, serving underserved patients. Throughout his time at the university, Joseph worked closely with sign language interpreters to facilitate his communication needs. He developed new vocabulary in American Sign Language for dental uh, terminology. He also worked closely with patients and alleviated their fears because they had never worked with a deaf dentist. Joseph's story is truly inspiring. He always indicated that if you set a goal and work hard to achieve it, you will do so someday. It is for these reasons I nominated Joseph Simona for the MRS Student Champion Award. I congratulate you, Joe, on this accomplishment, and I wish you the very best. But hold on, there's one more thing I wanna say. Be always leading and forever valiant and go blue. Hello, I want to thank Anahita Lord for nominating me. I really appreciate uh, and everything that MRS has done for me, the support that has allowed me to achieve my goals. Without them, I would be struggling. And I was able to get over a lot of obstacles with their help. Their support was able to allow me to reach my dream. And I really appreciate everything that they've done for me. Thank you so much. Our first Community Partner 2020 Champion Award goes to Michigan Works Southeast of Adrian, Michigan, in partnership with Michigan Rehabilitation Services, the Ann Arbor District Office. Michigan Works Southeast is represented today by Misty Schalters, Irene Garcia Soli, Joe Uhas, and Lisa Bartley were the nominators. Good afternoon. My name is Joe Uhas. I work as a vocational rehabilitation counselor in Lenawee County. It was my pleasure to be part of the team responsible for nominating Misty Schulters for the Community Partner Champion Award. Our team consisted of myself, Lisa Bartley, and Irene Garcia Solis. We have a unique setting here in Lenawee County. 
the Michigan Works Office is located in the same building. This presents us with a unique opportunity to collaborate on a consistent basis, which we've been doing since day one. When I first met Misty approximately four years ago, I quickly learned that there was already a tremendous working relationship with Misty and her wonderful staff. As a new counselor, one of my first case assignments was providing several Michigan Work staff members with ergonomic assessments and assisting with the purchase of necessary, necessary equipment to make staff members' quality of life inside the office better. I worked side by side with Missy to ensure her employees were well taken care of. It was then that I began to see not only what kind of manager, but what type of individual I was dealing with. Missy is very supportive of the MRS in many ways. She provided MRS with a large office, which allowed us to interview customers, conduct trainings, and testings on a regular basis. MRS utilizes our conference room as well for monthly staff meetings. Misty also ensures MRS has provided the unique opportunity to participate in community committees and is, and is we are often invited to local job fairs and open interviews that are held and or sponsored by Michigan Works. Misty and her staff are constantly making customer referrals to MRS and MRS is constantly making referrals to Michigan Works. It is not uncommon to work in collaboration with dual customers in an effort to maximize our services. We currently have several dual customers, all while working towards the same VR goals. During the co current COVID-19 pandemic, Misty and her staff went above and beyond the call of duty, assisting countless customers with the unemployment process. It was common practice to contact Misty directly to ensure customers' needs were being met. True leadership begins at the top, and it is evident by the quality, passion, and work ethic from her staff that Misty is leading by example. I am proud to be a part of this great team, and I look forward to our continued collaboration. Congratulations on your award. I'd now like to introduce Misty Schulters. Thank you, Joe. I am Misty Schulters, Service Center Manager with Michigan Works Southeast Lenaway Service Center. I am honored to accept this award on behalf of my team at the Lenaway Michigan Works Southeast office. The outstanding collaboration between our two agencies is a direct result of everyone recognizing that we can't do this alone. Our community partnerships are vital to the success of our customers. I believe that when we each come to work every day, we do so for the opportunity to provide customers with hope for a better future. We are able to do that by building successful relationships within our community and working together to connect our customers to the services they need. Here at Michigan Works Southeast, we believe in a team approach in all that we do, and that includes in how we work within our community. I've enjoyed watching our two agencies work collectively together to bring hope to the lives of the customers we serve. Thank you again for the recognition as MRS's community partner. We look forward to continuing our partnership and creating more success stories for all of those that we serve. Our second Community Partner 2020 Champion Award goes to the Superior Alliance for Independent Living, SAIL, in Marquette, Michigan, in partnership with the Michigan Rehabilitation Services Marquette District Office. SAIL is represented today by Rita Kielholtz. Uh, Megan Lyles will present the nomination. My name is Megan. Um, I'm a vocational counselor um, in, in the Marquette District Office, and we nominated uh, the Superior Alliance for Independent Living um, and Rita Kielholtz uh, for an award, which won. Um, Arita is the assistant director, assistant director at the Superior Alliance for Independent Living. Her primary responsibilities include the day-to-day the -day operations, um, as well as program development and supervising um, the individual living skills and peer support pillars of service. Um, she has more than 21 years of experience, so she's well-versed in the field um, and working with individuals with disabilities. Working with Rita has been absolutely instrumental in developing and carrying out meaningful services to, uh, with, to individuals with disabilities. The, the biggest thing was that when the, the contract came to fruition and working with the Center for Independent Living, Rita already, already had the knowledge of the Michigan Rehabilitation Services language. And that was a huge, 
huge barrier, I felt like, um, looking forward and, and, and developing a menu of services that meant something and that had pretty clear expectations about what we were wanting to achieve with all of our clients. Um, the other part of that is that, you know, Rita has also maintained a positive relationship with all the schools in the Upper Peninsula, which is a pretty wide area, um, as well as employers through work-based learning. Above all, um, it's been a great relationship uh, working with Rita as well as the Superior Alliance for Independent Living. Um, I look forward to continuing to work together and communication has been key. Um, so I'm going to pass it over to Rita. Thanks, Megan. Hi, I'm Rita Kaiholt, the Assistant Director at Superior Alliance for Independent Living for SALE. I would like to thank Michigan Rehabilitation Services, especially Megan Lyles and the Marquette District Office for nominating me for this award. I'm very honored to be a recipient of the Champion Award for Community Partners. This award is really for SALE, the Disability Network of the UP. I couldn't do what I do or built the relationships we have with MRS without the awesome staff that I work with. Their commitment and dedication to the individuals we serve are the backbone to everything we do. I have worked with MRS in various capacities throughout the last 20 years. Wow. The willingness to sit around the table to work through issues, keep open communication lines, and all work hard together to make sure we do everything we can to help our customers succeed, make this such a successful partnership. When we keep our customers at the core of everything, we all win. We work with customers in all 15 counties of the UP. This means a lot of windshield time and a lot of sitting in a car, but knowing we have a partner from Ironwood to Sault Ste. Marie, from Houghton to Menominee means we can assist a lot of individuals to improve their lives. This partnership has helped many, and I look forward to continuing it for many years. I would like to thank everyone involved in putting this virtual celebration together and helping recognize all the work so many have done. Congratulations to all the award winners. Thank you. The statewide partner 2020 champion award goes to Cisco Networking Academy of Northville, Michigan, in partnership with Michigan Rehabilitation Services statewide. Representing Cisco today is Clydeen Stanvik and Patrick Romsick. Cisco was nominated by Benita King, Paul Malka, and Jenny Pyatt. Good afternoon, everyone. As Carol mentioned, I'm Jenny Paya, Bureau Administrator for Michigan Rehabilitation Services, the Business Network Division, and I'm honored to be one of the nominators for our statewide partner award winners. But, you know, let's start out with the statewide partner award itself. It's intended to recognize the outstanding work of individuals and organizations who have contributed toward career pathways, independent and access for individuals with disabilities, you know, beyond our county borders. Um, Pat Romzik, an advocate for individuals with disabilities and retired executive leader from Cisco, and Clydeen Stangbeck, Midwest manager for Cisco Net Acad and Corporate Affairs, are really just strong collaborators who have cultivated um, economic opportunities for our customers. You know, I met Pat nearly three years ago, and from day one, it was clear he was a change advocate and not satisfied with the status quo. Um, Pat led the charge to bring an internationally recognized cybersecurity training um, through Cisco to the Detroit metro area for our customers. And he did it in partnership with multiple, multiple divisions from our agency, um, including our Vocational Rehabilitation Technical Training Center, Michigan Career Technical Institute, or MCTI. And you know, Pat didn't stop there. Uh, he brought a new valued community partner, Living and Learning Center to our agency um, to help execute the program. He then coordinated with our Vocational Rehabilitation National Employment Team, or the NET, with our business director, Kathy West Evans, to expand the training program 
and partnership with other state VR agencies, including recent launches in Florida and Massachusetts. Um, since I met Clydeen, she is always seeking methods to make that direct connection with the Cisco Net Academy and our, and our client customers. And she understands the value of connecting our talent uh, with a high demand industry and the importance of reasonable accommodations in the training. Um, you know, she, along with her team and community partners, have worked really closely with both the Michigan VR agencies, Bureau of Services for Blind Persons, and Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Um, her intent, you know, with her team is really to make that connectivity. And both award winners have presented to our future counseling professionals in the Michigan State University Rehabilitation Counseling Graduate Program, Go Green. Pat and Clydeen tirelessly strive to move the needle on disability employment. And both in individuals exemplify the intent of the award and the partnership in every true sense of the word. So, and now I'll pass the mic to my colleague, Paul Manka with Michigan Career Technical Institute. I thought that was very good, uh, Jenny. Uh, I was introduced to Pat Romzak um, approximately two years ago um, when he was promoting his, his the Cisco program for individuals with disabilities that, that was first launched in um, New York with the, the mayor's office on people with disabilities. And he came to Michigan Career Technical Institute and was talking to us about potential partnerships and his persistence and enthusiasm, um, you know, really, really made a difference in us um, partnering and, and um, a good track record, uh, real commitment to individuals with disabilities. So we were able to launch a program kind of using the MCTI uh, model for IT, which was a 40 week training program, uh, training people in high level cybersecurity, CCNA uh, certification. Um, keeping a cohort of, uh, we started with 14 and we, we worked through the pandemic. We kept the cohort together. Uh, it was a very successful program that um, um, a majority of them got high level CCNA certification, which uh, is, is probably one of the more difficult and demanding uh, technical certifications you can get. So I was very impressed with that, keeping the cohort together for 40 weeks out of Northville in partnership with the Living and Learning Enrichment Center and Cisco Academy and the executive leadership that you provided and all the support that Clydeine and Pat provided really was instrumental in the success of the program. And as Jenny said, I, I think they are true partners in, in every sense of the word. So thank you. And I do appreciate you both. And in partner, the partnership that we had um, to launch the program in Northville included, um, included Jenny Pyatt, the director of the Business Network Division, as well as Vanita King, who is the division director for the Southeast Division of the Michigan Rehab Services. And with that, I'll give you Vanita King. Good afternoon. I am so pleased to be a part of the nomination for both Pat and Clydeen for the Partner Award for their work in the Cisco Cybersecurity Training Project. Pat is a visionary and has demonstrated tremendous leadership, ongoing initiative, and dedication above and beyond what could have been expected in this partnership. He continues to devote himself to creating high-wage, in-demand opportunities for individuals with disabilities both here and abroad. Clydeen brings a wealth of knowledge to the Cisco Cybersecurity Project. She's been a very dedicated team member and she lives teamwork makes the dream work. She is always solution focused. She's brought tangible resources to the students enabling them to take the tests required to obtain their certifications. Both Pat and Clydeen have contributed greatly to a very successful collaboration. On behalf of Michigan Rehabilitation Services, myself, Jenny, and Paul, I congratulate you. We will now hear from Clydeen. It is my honor to accept the 2020 Champion Award for Michigan Rehabilitation Services. 
Thank you all, especially Paul, Jenny, and Vanita for nominating me for this great award. Michigan Rehabilitation Services, MRS, which is the state's vocational office for people with disabilities, and Michigan Career and Technical Institute, MCTI, one of the country's few and Michigan's only post-secondary learning institution designed specifically for people with disabilities, and the Cisco Neto Academy, which is corporate social responsibility, Cisco's largest program. We align very well with goals of having students attaining career-ready skills and the opportunity for industry-recognized certifications, along with jobs, internships, and building the workforce of the future. Thank you for this great partnership with the Cisco Network Academy, and you serve as a model program with opportunities for all disabled adults in Michigan, in which I have been proud to participate with you to raise awareness and educate companies in the many advantages of working with adults and disabilities. The great accomplishment MRS has had this year had resulted in students completing the entire program successfully, passing the CCNA certification, which is an industry recognized certification, and also students going on and filling the pipeline of Cisco Networking Academy instructors to qualify to teach the courses. The biggest reward for me is that students are willing to share their stories to inspire future students, employers, with their accomplishments of hard work, passion, and career-ready skills. This fulfills the mission of MRS and Cisco Network Academy of truly being inclusive and providing opportunities for all. Thank you all for this great honor. Thank you so much for the kind words and the great recognition with the MRS Champions Award. I'm deeply honored and greatly humbled by your comments and by the recognition of this award. I found the partnership with MRS and MCTI to be incredibly rewarding and effective. And by that I mean it was a great joy to work with Jenny Pye and Vanita King and Paul Muck and their staffs to develop, in, to innovate a program that hadn't been done develop the program and deliver it successfully in our community to change lives. We couldn't have done it without the great support of Clyding Stanvik and the people at Cisco and Cisco Networking Academy. And we couldn't have delivered it without the great support of the people at the Living and Learning Enrichment Center in Northville and their tremendous instructors, Stephen and Michael. Together, we developed something unique and we're able to transform and create employment opportunities for people with disabilities that were hopeless. And that is also a great reward. So what I take away from this is, this is not an individual award, this is a team award. This is a recognition of our collective efforts. It was a labor of love. It was a partnership that I will always cherish. And the greatest reward is the success that we're having together and the ability to impact positively other people's lives through employment. So it's a great honor. Thank you so much for this recognition and thank you for your tremendous partnership. Hopefully this is only the beginning. Thanks again. What an amazing group of champions. And not to mention the amazing group of nominators as well. <laughs> I'm only sorry that we can't be together in person so that they could hear our applause, but, and receive some congratulations from each of us in person. But maybe if we applaud loud enough, they could hear us. Closing remarks will now be sent, be given by Tina Fullerton, who is the current Bureau Director of Michigan Rehabilitation Services. For the past 27 years of her career with Michigan Rehabilitation Services, Tina has truly participated in empowering many MRS champions. Thanks, Carol. And good afternoon, everybody. Um, first and foremost, congratulations to all of our recipients of the Champion Award. 
Um, I think uh, as I listen to those stories, the theme, and you probably heard it too, really was around partnership, um, collaboration, teamwork. I heard those words um, throughout all of the presentations. And that really is what Bulk Rehab is all about. Everybody working together um, to accomplish uh, and help our customers accomplish their goals. So um, again, congratulations to our recipients, a heartfelt gratitude to our community partners, businesses, uh, other agencies that MRS works with, because without our team, um, it would be very difficult uh, to make these accomplishments. Carol, you're right. Um, I was thinking too, and I really noticed uh, in my home office, the only thing missing was the, the applause that we typically hear when we get to meet in person. Um, did not diminish the uh, the enthusiasm, the warmth, I still felt that as you as we went through these stories. So um, that's still still apparent. Um, speaking of that, you know, we because of the pandemic, we did have to switch from meeting in person um, to a virtual uh, platform. We never skipped a beat. We were not going to miss the Champion Awards this, this year for any reason. So we were happy that we were able to um, switch gears and move forward virtually. So. Um, big thanks to everybody that made that happen. And you all know who you are. I don't want to start naming names or I'll, I'll miss half of you. So um, it, it, amazing work you did to get this, to pull this off. Um, we did hear from Acting Director Corbin in the beginning about the Champion Awards and how it really aligned in October with the Disability um, Employment Awareness Month, as well as um, Investing in Abilities Month. But um, this year is really special because it also aligns with the 100 year anniversary of vocational rehabilitation and the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. So great year to do this. Um, excellent job pulling it off. Really happy with that. So with that, I want to give some thanks and then I will hand it back to Carol to wrap it up. Um, again, thank you to the recipients, to the nominators. Good job. Um, and thank you so much. I know it's not easy uh, to do recordings. It's sometimes awkward and, and difficult. So I know it's hard. So I appreciate that you took the time to do that so that we could all hear your stories. Um, I wanna thank two of the family members. We, we got to see a dad and oh, I know that a lot of family members, friends, supervisors, um, all the folks along the way that helped our customers to succeed. So I wanna thank all of you and recognize you. Um, big thanks. I will never leave you out. Vocational rehabilitation counselors, the work you do every day, the passion that you, uh, that you display, the dedication, um, not willing to give up. It's just amazing. So thank you, VR counselors. Thank you to your teams, um, not just your community partners, but your rehabilitation assistants, your purchase service providers, and everyone else that I mentioned that, um, that was helpful to you in, in your work. Let's see, um, Carol, shout out to you. Great job being the MC. And of course, Carol's with the uh, Michigan Council for Re Rehabilitation Services to you and, and the council members for, for your support for all of this. Um, the MRS marketing team, and I will say Tyler Gross's name because <laughs> Tyler is a magician. He did a great job put, pulling all this together. So, so thank you, Tyler, for that. Want to thank the Leo Employment and Training Communications team. Um, you were uh, really helpful to us to get this off the ground. And then um, big thanks to uh, Leo leadership, all the legislators, and um, our guests um, that spoke today. So, Carol, I'm going to hand it back to you. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> On behalf of Michigan Rehabilitation Services and the Michigan Council for Rehabilitation Services, thank you for participating in today's ceremony. Over 300 people were able to participate in, 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 in the ceremony today. And I think that is one positive about the virtual, that many more people could participate than if we had met in person. So today we honored individuals, we honored businesses, we honored community partners, but, but you know, listening to the nominators and listening to the recipients, I couldn't help thinking about the collective efficacy of the entire VR community across the state of Michigan. And many other people were nominated for awards, but only a few could be selected, but they did receive recognition as well. 
We look forward to the year ahead and we hope that you will join us in October 2021, <laughs> whether we're virtual or in person to celebrate new champions in Michigan Vocational Rehabilitation Services. Thank you so much for participating with us today.